So today I'm going to be talking about how to perform a codon analysis of a sequence using this website. As you can see, you put your sequence into this box. You can put it in the raw form or the FASFA form. You pick out the type of genome you want to use. For this one, we use invertebrate mitochondrial. Clear the sequence out. Then you go to your data, you find your annotation. For this one, I chose this one. So, so it has a T at the end as a stop codon. You want to make sure that if it does have a T at the end, you get rid of it because the T is an incomplete codon and it might mess up the sequence. So you just copy the whole thing. Then you paste it into the box, making sure you delete that last T. You press submit with the right genetic code in there. Then this window should pop up showing you the results, all the amino acids, and their respective codons, the number of times it appears in the sequence, and the fraction that it is in that sequence. Shows this for all of the different amino acids, and at the end you can see the stop codons that would be in there. As you can see, there is none because it was a T. You can do this for other sequences with a different stop codon. I'll be using the ATP6 gene that we had. So you just go back to the sequence. As you can see, there was no T stop codon instead of TAA. Copy the whole sequence. Paste it in the same box. Still on invertebrate. And press submit. Again, the same table will pop up with all the amino acids, fractions, etc. And at the bottom, the only difference is that there's the TAA stop codon for that sequence. You can also do this if you want to add all of the sequences in. You would just need to subtract the T's out, and you can do it for the whole genome. It's the same process.